Talk about a surprise encounter still overseas. We head to Iran on the eve of nuclear talks where ABC's David Muir found himself in a room with the volatile president Ahmadinejad. And David joins us from Tehran to tell us more. Diane, good evening again tonight from Tehran. And on the eve of these very tenuous talks, this nuclear standoff, we witnessed something we had never seen before today. Iranians and Americans on the same world stage already. And there were thousands of Iranians, in fact, cheering on a young man from America. Here on the streets of Tehran tonight, nuclear tensions mounting even before the talks start. But we learned today of something that almost never happens here, a moment during which Iran and America were sharing the same stage. After several requests, hours of waiting, we are allowed in, down the stairs, through the hallways, and suddenly we hear an unfamiliar introduction. The U.S. team being announced. But at the door, one more delay for us. Guards telling us our female producer can't go in. She cannot come? No. Woman, no. Woman, no. But we keep asking, and they finally allow her in, one of the only women in the entire arena. A handshake from one of the American coaches who recognizes us. And on the mat, Americans already competing in front of Iran. The signs in the crowd side by side in English and Farsi, we are all wrestling fans. And in the corner, Jordan Burroughs, who trained in Nebraska for the Olympics, beating Iran for the gold. And still, when his name is called here, From the, United States of America. the cheers are deafening. And just listen to them chanting his name. This American cheered on even here. And Jordan wins again. A message with impeccable timing, because soon after, an entrance. The Iranian president waving to the crowd, watching Iranians and Americans here in Tehran. How are you? And in the crowd, fans welcoming us to Iran. So many of them surprised when we tell them we're from the American Broadcasting Company. And one little boy reaching out with his hand, too. In the end here, the Iranian team emerging with the gold, the U.S. team with bronze, Jordan holding that trophy, and suddenly a nod from the president when he notices our crew from America. But it was the next gesture on that stage Iranians rarely see here, a handshake to that team from America, from a leader locked in a long-standing nuclear stalemate with the U.S. and much of the world. Those handshakes on the stage are a rare moment, but the big question will come next week. What kind of handshakes, if any, will come after this new round of nuclear talks after having been stalled for almost a year now? But on a personal note, I can tell you that when that happened today, unfolding in that arena, one Iranian turning to me saying, I never thought I'd see something like this.